Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of January 22nd through to the 28th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Before we get started, I would like to remind you all I am running the uh, January yearly 2024 yearly personal read special still until the end of the month um, the email address is in the description box just shoot me an email at starlord7 at gmail.com and I'd also like to remind you of the upcoming podcast Star Lord is podcast Sunday night on the 21st of this month so uh, be sure to catch that if you want to be in the audience, part of the chat, we've been having a great time on these podcasts. This week's topic will be astrology, the topic on everyone's lips these days. So let's get to your reading, my dear Cappies. Four of Pentacles, reversed, followed then by Major Arcana's The World in the Upright. Next, we have the Queen of Cups, Upright, followed then by the Seven of Swords, Upright. And lastly, the Ace of Swords, Upright. So your overall energy, my cappies, is the Four of Pentacles in the reverse position. Nice to see this for you. <laughs> Four of Pentacles in the upright position. I call this my little hoarder card. This is where we're holding on too tightly to, uh, it could be anything from old belief systems to material goods. I call it my little hoarder card for a reason. It's time to let go. Yes, Capricorns, you can be hoarders. Now let's face it, <laughs> you can hold on to things. Um, January is a good time to actually get rid of stuff, put it away, maybe get it ready for a spring garage sale, things like that. Uh, throw it away, give it away, whatever you need to do, sell it. Just have the energy removed from your, uh, from your energy field. <laughs> Sometimes the Four of Pentacles in the reverse position can indicate paying something off. On the financial front, it can be where we're finally, like sometimes this is the savers card. So this can be where we're putting so much money aside. Could be we were paying something down and now it's paid off. It could be putting uh, money aside because we needed to save up for something. Now the event is coming on and now it's time to, this is like the, lo uh, the loosening of the perch per string so to speak so this is where that you could be having a little bit more um you know expendable cash it can also point back to the three of pentacles in the upright position which can indicate cooperation in the people around us cooperation in the home and in the workplace great news for those of you starting a new job it could be that you are working with like-minded people and uh, cooperation i always say is very important especially in the workplace it's important in the home as well Starting off the week with the world card. Something big is happening here. You are closing out a major cycle. You're leaving something behind. I think I know what you're leaving behind. You're leaving Pluto behind. So this is the beginning of a new cycle for you Capricorns. Uh, by the way, that was an incredible uh, turnout for that Capricorn uh, astrology reading. The one about Pluto, you guys came out like crazy. There was like close to a hundred comments and it's still going. So a lot of you Capricorns were really, really relating to what is has been happening over the last 15 years for you. But guess what? The cycle is ending for some of you. It is probably just representing the Pluto closeout and anything that went along with that. But for some of you, it could be quite spe specific. It could be that, say, for example, maybe some of you are retiring this week, putting in your retirement papers. Others of you could be looking to move. Maybe you're going to sell the home that you've lived in for many years. And it's time we do see you releasing something here. Maybe some of you are releasing uh, a home that you've lived in for many years, raise your family there, and it's just time to downsize. Others of you could be looking at leaving behind a, a, a place where you live your your city your state your country even and maybe some of you want to travel maybe some of you want to just move to another place up and just you know start over somewhere else for others of you you're starting a new career there there's new starts when one door is closing another one's opening i mean pluto is has left the first house but now it's moving into the second house so some of you could be moving into more lucrative careers and closing out the old duds 
that you don't want any part of anymore. <laughs> Second energy is here is the Queen of Cups in the upright position. It is a court card. Could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Queen of Cups could be somebody representing your... Um, it could be your spouse, could be a family member, a friend, somebody you're working with. Sometimes she can represent a really kind uh, doctor or counselor, someone who helps us process the emotional aspects of our life. Capricorn, you're going through a lot of changes now. Perhaps you do need somebody around you who can help you process whatever is happening or whatever changes are going on. It, uh, through your emotions and the queen of cups is really good at doing that this could even be you perhaps showing great emotional maturity to someone else because we can always embody these energies as well but something is going on here and uh, perhaps you're needing to have a conversation with somebody who can help you like i said process your emotions or you could just be having enjoyable conversations or meeting someone like this who is shows great compassion caring understanding and compassion or i said that twice i caught that you don't have to say it in the comments i caught that <laughs> Moving on towards the weekend, we have the Seven of Swords here in the upright position. Well, this is interesting energy and can uh, pop up for several different reasons. Sometimes this is known as the sneak thief sneak thief energy. It can come up when uh, someone is trying to, you know, steal our ideas or hopefully not steal your identity or steal your belongings. But it can be the sneak thief that tries to, you know, make away with uh, without accepting the consequences of dishonorable act. So now this could be somebody you are dealing with towards the end of the week, or this could represent simply, and a lot of times it simply represents uh, avoidance. The seven of swords in the upright position can come up when we are avoiding dealing with a person, uh, dealing with a group of people, dealing with a subject matter. This is where it's like, I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to deal with this. Maybe something big is going on in your life and perhaps you're just avoiding dealing with people right now. Maybe the only person you want to talk to is your counselor or your friend or what have you. And perhaps you just want to avoid dealing with subject matters to others because maybe you're just not ready to come out and start talking about things. This could come up when others are trying to avoid you. So it could be maybe you're trying to get a hold of somebody and they're just simply not, uh, they're not answering, they're not getting back to you, they're not, you know, cooperating. So interesting energy. And then the last is the Ace of Swords in the upright position. Well, this is the Sword of Victory. It's also the Sword of Truth and the aces always bring in something new so for you capricorn this could be a new idea it could be a new aha moment it could also represent clarity of thought where you're finally seeing things clearly now it could have something to do with this seven of swords please do you guys are my biggest commenters let me know um once you watch this video maybe you already know what this could possibly be about or come back to the video after and if it plays out and let us know what's going on because they seem to be connected they're both sword energy so this is the sort of truth the sort of communication but it could be that you're dealing maybe some of you are trying to avoid dealing with the truth about something i'm not sure what's going on or maybe you're dealing with somebody else who's trying to avoid the truth you could be bringing the truth forward to someone so I'm not sure, but well, it's a general read, so it could be any one of those scenarios, and maybe it's all of those scenarios for different Capricorns. But here, this could be uh, something rings true. You finally see the truth about something. Maybe you finally realize why this person has been avoiding you, or why this person has been sneaky. Don't know, Capricorn, you'll have to let me know. So looks like a big week for Capricorn. And I want to say thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic week. And um, I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Take care. Much love. Bye-bye for now.